game day for LVC is always exciting, but for this one, the numbers on the stat sheet aren't always the most important. Between six and seven hundred, but we make them fresh. During one basketball doubleheader every year, it's time for Hot Dog Frank Day. And anytime we beat Albright College, the, the, the hot dogs were on Hot Dog Frank. So the, the, the story goes back long before my time. Frank Oftismiss and his wife Mary ran Frank's Hot Dog Shop in the square in Anvil for 45 years. A quick bite was hardly the only thing he served to the students at Lebanon Valley College. If they needed money to go home for the weekend, he was there. If they needed food back in the 50s and 60s, and he will always say there was never somebody that didn't pay him back. So it was always a great relationship. Everybody knew they could go to Hot Dog, and, and he was just a wonderful man. As a huge fan of Flying Dutchman sports, Hot Dog Frank's support inspired an award at the school that's been given out each year since 1985. It, it's so humbling. I mean, I've worked here at Lebanon Valley College since I graduated. And Lebanon Valley College, frankly, has done a lot more for me than I believe I've done for Lebanon Valley College. The part of the yearly tradition that everyone seems to relish is the free hot dogs between the women's and the men's game, where students and alumni are once again welcomed in by Hot Dog Frank. Can you smell the hot dog? Few would have enjoyed the 1994 national championship win more than Hot Dog Frank, but sadly he died just six hours before the game tipped off. Until you start to really hear how deep it was and how deep his relationship was with our, our students and how much of an impact he made, do you really start to understand it? And if you think his impact is only felt one day each year, guess again, right in the Peace Garden on campus stands a statue of Hot Dog Frank. It's a favorite spot for LVC grads to take a picture, and it's even a stop on the college campus tour, complete with a national championship ring. He would have loved that. If he could if he could have experienced that, that would have been kind of over the top for him. Alex Colley, Fox 43. <laughs>